So I guess just everybody else but me knew that Adult Swim was going to be dropping the best Superman content that we've gotten since Superman the Animated Series. But I'll tell you what, after watching episode one of my adventures with Superman, I don't think I'm going to miss another episode because that was amazing. All right, so full disclosure, this video is unscripted because I literally just finished watching the episode and I wanted to talk about it. But also, I think it's important to note that while I do love DC and Marvel comics, I have always been more of the iron man side or the batman side of type of hero where they're a little bit darker and a little bit more gritty uh but due to i think the oversaturation of the gritty superhero market and the fact that i mean if you're realistic we've been going through some difficult times since 2020 let's say uh, I found myself gravitating more towards the Boy Scout positive type superheroes like the Captain Americas or the Spider-Mans or the Nightwings or the Supermans. And I have actually been finding it very difficult recently to find some good Superman content. Uh, like I said, I think the animated series was some of the best work with Superman. And after that, I feel like they've always tried to make Superman something that he is not. And that is something that my adventures with Superman avoids entirely from what I have seen. See, the central conflict with Superman is not in his identity but rather his humanity. So for example, if you are a fan of Batman, we all know that Bruce Wayne is the mask that Batman wears. That is not the same for Superman. Superman is the mask that Clark Kent wears, and it's only a mask in the literal definition of trying to define his identity, because Superman and Clark are both at their core very good people. And I think that this show just nails it. So, given that this is episode one of a series, there's obviously a lot of setup. So, we begin with Clark as a very young boy without his powers being activated. And I don't know how I feel about this yet, but I do think that I like the touch of seeing someone in need is what causes Clark to activate his powers. I also really enjoy that we do not go through the entire origin story. We see him awaken his power to save the uh, baby and the mom in the car, and then it is a smash cut to present day, right? And in present day, we learn that Jimmy, it, Jimmy and Superman, Jimmy and Clark are roommates, and they have both gotten jobs as interns at the Daily Planet. So we are seeing him from the ground up. Uh, we are seeing Clark from the build his career from the ground up and deal with the, the turmoil that comes with being a dual identity Superman um, reporter. So he goes, he meets Perry White, and we really get to see that charming Boy Scout energy when he goes to get the donuts for the people and he goes to save the cats because he just can't stop saving people. And that's what makes him Superman. When he goes to the Daily Planet, uh, he is tasked under Lois by Perry White to just learn how to do the basic intern things. Of course, we all know Lois Lane is not here to do basic intern things. She's here to break stories. And so when she discovers that robots have been taken from a secret military encampment and being hidden in Metropolis, she wants to break the story. Now, of course, Lois Lane is a very career-driven uh, person. That's just her character, and she wants to be big. So knowing that she needs help, she begins by lying to to Jimmy and Clark that they have permission from Perry to go investigate the story when in fact they do not. And this is where I want to stop and talk about both Jimmy and Lois, in which I think that they are great. So obviously the story, we all know Superman Clark falls in love with Lois Lane, and Jimmy will inevitably act as a third wheel. But in terms of third wheels, I didn't find him entirely dislikable. I found him the standard annoying little pop-up, break-up to moment of tension, uh, but I do think that he's funny. It's He's funny enough to work. He reminds me a lot of Will from Invincible, and I enjoy him for now. I hope that that continues and he doesn't continue to be a very annoying character, but I do think that he's funny, and I love that he references DC stories with all his crazy quote-unquote conspiracy theories, but they're just things that happen in the DC comics, so that's really cool. Um, the other person I want to talk about is Lois, and I think that this is the best Lois we've gotten in such a long time. I like that she still has a moral compass, I like that she still is very driven, and that she felt bad when Clark confronts her about about lying to him and possibly costing them their job. Um, the other thing is that I love that Clark did that. 
I love that this is not a lovesick Superman with no morals of his own because he thinks Lois is pretty. I like that he decides that even though he does find Lois pretty, even though he does like her, he's not willing to just be walked over, his, have his principles walked over by somebody, and he stands up and he says what is right. Um, so I think that they're great. I think that Lois also being helpful in the show helps so much with her character. Not she isn't the damsel in distress screaming for someone to come save her or being thrown off a building, which unfortunately seems to have been her role in the past five years. But rather, she was in there trying to help Superman, who she didn't even know was Clark, right? So she's helping a stranger um, just because it's the right thing to do. And I think that that really builds investment in her character, where she is not the love interest that just sits there and wait and you wait for something to happen she is a character in her own right and i think she is so far very fun to follow all right so speaking about the central conflict i think i caught the last name uh will willis in the uh episode which makes me think that the main antagonist of episode one was livewire but she clearly doesn't have her powers yet otherwise I would imagine they would have made her hair blue and, and like the pale skin, the electricity charges. So I'm wondering how that will play out as the show goes on. I've only watched episode one, so please don't spoil it. Um, but uh, I like the way that the conflict was created. Obviously, Superman's biggest conflict is that he wants to keep his secret identity. He wants to be a normal person. So we get to see him do his first hidden transformation when he fights the uh, robots that get sicked on Lois and um jimmy because they were somewhere that obviously they weren't supposed to be um and i think that after looking back on the episode or after thinking back on the episode because i haven't rewatched it i like the animation style i like the way the fights were choreographed i liked the anime style of action that movement when like superman flickers because he's so fast for the human eyes so they do like the line shades that reminds me so much of a thing like naruto or dragon ball when they're trying to show speed and i think that it works really well i also think that the combat was not too flashy um which is important because when you think about superman's fighting experience he is a He's strong, but it's not like he's a trained martial artist. So it's very direct. It's very um, standard type fighting style. And it works because he's Superman. And I think that it worked for the show. I also love the awakenings that he has when he sees people in danger. I know that people don't typically... I know that I've talked to some people about the episode before filming this, and they said, yeah, you know, it's a little too much for me, but I like it. I like the blue eye. I like the electricity flash. It looks like he is powering up to Super Saiyan 2, and I think that that's fun, you know, so I've enjoyed the animation style. I've enjoyed the story so far. I've enjoyed the characters so far, and overall, I would say, I know this is kind of an abrupt ending, but I'm excited to watch episode two. I'll probably have episode two's review out tomorrow, um, and with that said... Go watch My Adventures with Superman. I think it's amazing, and I would love to hear your thoughts on at least episode one in the comments below. So thank you so much for watching, and until next time, peace. All right, end card Jared here. Just remember, if you enjoyed the video, it would mean a huge deal if you would like, comment, and subscribe. That really helps me out with the algorithm as a growing channel. Also, if you enjoyed this video, I'm sure you will like others. On the right here, if you are a big reader, I've started a book review playlist um, with only the wager in it right now, but more are coming soon. Or if you are a fan of character analysis, I have a series called Why I Love, where I break down characters from fiction and explain why I think that they are fantastic. If either of those interest you, please be sure to click those playlists up above. And until next time, have a great rest of your day. Peace out.